Hello you guys. Welcome back to my kitchen here in Southern Colorado. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. I just checked on the internet and it's 57 degrees here in um, Southern Colorado. So it's beautiful. I have a window open and of course my screen door is open. It's really lovely. So what I'm going to do for you today is to make a cornflake crusted uh, pork chops and apples. Well, the apples won't be uh, cornflake encrusted, but it's a video response to Sylvia over at Food and Fashion Sense. She's an awesome uh, couponer saves bunches of money. I do a little couponing but not on a big scale and um, I just wanted to uh, bring this video to her and her viewers because uh, last week or week before recently Corn Flakes was um, on sale for little or nothing and if you did get in on that that uh, value, then I'll show you what you could do with some of that those corn flakes. Now I'm going to just put these in a Ziploc bag, and I personally like corn flakes. It was one of my favorite cereals when I was young because um, mom and dad never bought the sweet kind. So for cold cereal, corn flakes was usually in the house. Okay. I'm just going to put some corn flakes in a Ziploc bag and then crush them to make corn flakes crumbs. Now, um, I'm sure that's plenty for the three pork chops that I got. For my newbies in the kitchen, if you still haven't got that rolling pin, you know what you can get. You can get a can or a cup or something heavy. And I didn't bring my, my rolling pin out, so I'm just going to grab that same pan and crush. So pretty finely. And that's all she wrote. Okay, that's ready. Now, um, also newbies, this is one of those um, those plastic containers that I uh, suggested that you keep if at the end of your. Let's see, where is mine? Do I have any more? This is the same container from the lunch meat that I had that we made our Monte Cristo salad with. So, I'm going to put one egg in this container. I'm sorry, I'm going to turn that off. Get a fork. Put about a third of a cup of water or a splash of water because um, this will be your binding agent to keep those cornflake crumbs on your um, pork chop. Now you can do chicken or um, pork chops or let me see what else, maybe even fish. Maybe I'll have to try that. But I have my three boneless pork chops thawed out. 
and these have already been seasoned by the store so I wanted to keep that season on them I'm not going to salt and pepper it I am going to get some cooking oil spray though and have my baking dish ready okay now the universal temperature for your um, for your baking if you don't have to be precise is 350 okay and I'm going to drop this in the bag this is just enough for a small family or cooking for one or two it's not really difficult for me to cook for the most part for one or two you just um, buy smaller packages of meat for the single or the retiree and um, keep your side dishes down to little small packages okay so I'm gonna shake ooh, shake 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 and I think it's pretty well coated easy for the new cook in the kitchen this is a easy recipe okay let me wash my hands And I'll put these in the oven. Now, uh, new cook, new cooks in the kitchen, or if you want to know a dish that complements uh, one another, that would be pork and apples. Uh, apples would be would give it uh, give your pork dish a sweet yet tangy flavor and it's a classic um, comparison so I have two apples here and um, you wouldn't have an apple corer I'm sure uh -oh. sorry so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assume you have an apple in your kitchen um, this might be something that you would have because you're taking your lunch to work and you just want an apple. Even apples now, if you go to a convenience store, 7-Eleven or, look at me, you all, forgive me. But um, anyway, they sell apples and bananas and fruit and so forth at 7-Eleven convenience store so forth. They're still too high. Go to the grocery, get you not a bag of apples because I find that, that that's too much. But if you get, like I bought two apples, get you two apples, cut it up, take it to work, incorporate it in a food dish that's just fine. I am all over the place pardon me okay I'm gonna cut these two apples up and I left the skin on because the skin can be um, 
positive ingredient for you, fiber. Going to quickly finish this. And I don't think I have enough room in my little casserole dish, but just for this. So it won't be um, two apples after all. So, but you see, one apple yielded me one small casserole dish. Um, of diced apples what I'm going to do is get my butter and I'm just going to take a teaspoon get about a teaspoon of butter and put it on top I'm going to get a little sugar And also just put a couple of teaspoons in there because I'm not making a pie or anything but I don't want it tart so I'm just going to put that's one teaspoon heaping teaspoon and here's another heaping teaspoon okay. and I think that's all I want to put on there um, I, might, I might need a little water to steam them, so a splash of water. I'm going to cover this with foil, put it in the oven with my, my pork chops while they bake because uh, utilize your, oven, uh, your oven's heat while you're doing one thing, you can do the other. And that will be our dinner. Um, I'll see you back in a minute when everything is ready to be plated, okay? Talk to you soon. Okay guys, the dinner bell is ringing and uh, I just took the pork chops and the apples out of the oven. It took about 35-40 minutes so you don't have to cook it to death. And let me just show you the end results. Here is the pork chops and the apples. And it, the plate looked a little bland, so I have some steamable vegetables that I took out as well. Um, let me get a something to cut this open with. I thought I had my scissors. Yes, they are right here. The apples were, um, as I thought, um, they didn't need anything but just those, that water and a little bit of butter. So, in this medley, I'm, it's just a steamable pack with some red, um, Red peppers, snap peas, a little bit of um, red potatoes, new potatoes. That's fine. Let me get one of these beautiful pork chops out of there. Corn freight flake crusted. Corn freight crusted. <laughs> and the apples. yummy okay and I'll give each a taste test the wind is kicking up a little bit outside and I looked up on the peak and it's totally covered so with fog so, uh, maybe the weather will be changing now um your pork chops don't have to be, like I said, cooked dead. It's, uh, pork is better 
Mmm. Medium. Cornflake, very crusty. Bake so it has no oil. Pork is like a, a, a good white meat. Apples, fresh tasting. Mmm, and just yummy. Another good one. Another good one for the books. Uh, leave me a thumbs up. Sorry. Subscribe. Follow me at Twitter. Write me at GrandmaCheepCheep at gmail.com. Enjoy the rest of your day and be blessed. Bye-bye now.